Hi everyone, this is a video to show you how to program a remote into a Electronics code hopping receiver. We'll also show you how to erase the remote out and default the receiver. Okay, so all you do is remove the top front cover and you'll see the receiver has a learn button on it. To learn your remotes in, you press the learn button once, the receiver will go into learn mode for the first channel. You then take your code hopping remote you press the button that you want to learn into it twice, once, twice, and it will give you a recognition beep when it learns it. You then just press learn again to go to the second channel, and you program the second button, once, twice, and it will learn it in. You press learn again to go out of learn mode. Now if you have more than one remote that you want to learn into the receiver, you do the same procedure. You press the learn button once for the first channel to come on, you then press the first button once, twice, and grab your next remote, press that button once, twice, and go to the next channel. You then press the same remote once, twice, and then the next remote once and twice, and it will learn it in. Once again, you press learn to exit out of learn mode. To confirm that all your remotes are programmed correctly, simply press the button to check that it's programmed to the correct channel, as you can see with the LEDs represented here. I'm now going to show you how to erase a single remote out of the receiver memory. The first step is to take the jumper off of the 1 second, 3 second and latch pins of either channel and place it over the pins labeled erase on the PC board. Note if you have an older version receiver, your receiver will not have these erase pins. Once you've placed the jumper on the erase pins, you simply press, press the learn button and press the button on the remote that you want to erase out. The receiver will give you that recognition beep to say that it has erased the code that was just transmitted. Once you've erased the remotes out of the receiver, remember to take the jumper off of the erase pins and place it back where it was on the receiver. I'm now going to show you how to default the entire memory of the receiver. First step is to remove the jumpers from the 1 second, 3 second and latch pins of the channels you want to default. If you want to default the entire receiver, you remove both jumpers and press and hold the learn button down. Once the receiver has given you all of the warning beeps and given you one long beep to confirm that it's finished defaulting, remember to put the jumpers back onto the one second and three second and latch pins where they were before. Once you've finished working with the receiver, remember to place the cover carefully back onto the unit and to extend your wire antenna out for better range. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a look at our other videos for more information.